forgive me as I have sinned. It's been way too long since my last confessions of a photographer video. Now, um, in this video I want to talk to you about a shoot that I uh, did with a young model. Um, and I did that shoot together with my friend Willem. Um, and I want to talk to you about the dynamic of, sh the dynamic of shooting together. I want to talk to you about uh, how we made some of these images. And I want to talk to you about how I used the Fujifilm GFX with some vintage old Minolta lenses. So I usually start with something simple, um, just trying to have an overhead environment where I can see uh, or I, I, where I can get some nice, easy, soft light. Right here, um, we're shooting pretty much in the middle of day, which gives you harsh light in this sun, which gives you harsh shadows, but we try to conquer that a bit by um, having her wear sunglasses, by working with the more um, geometrical shapes in the posing, in our um, cropping, like right here. And then I found this uh, green door which looked pretty nice and it was this triangle of light falling onto this door and that worked quite well too. Here you see Willem in action, he was testing out my Fujifilm X-T2 uh, with the 1655 mainly. Uh, he has amazing shots and unfortunately I did a really bad job in um, doing behind the scenes video of him. Uh, but I will um, show you some of his pictures at the end of this video. Now the really great thing about working uh, with two photographers is that you can feed off each other. So um, when I saw Willem taking some pictures somewhere down, um, I was like, I can probably use this angle looking down. And we kind of played with the idea of a uh, completely drunk fashionista who fell off a cliff or something like that. We also figured that this harsh light and the stark, clean background uh, would work really well if we have a splash of color in it. So uh, Nella, who was our uh, model for today, changed into a red dress and we took some more pictures. We then moved on to a more um, natural environment um, and uh, that's when I started using some of the adapted uh, vintage lenses with my uh, Fujifilm GFX. Now, um, what you should know is that there are adapters to attach pretty much any lens on this camera. But because it has a bigger sensor, it's a medium format camera, um, it's generally advised to use only medium format lenses. But luckily, uh, the distance between the lens mount and the sensor, because it is a mirrorless design, is pretty close. So even a number of um, 35 millimeter lenses actually, or 35 millimeter film format lenses will actually work on this camera. And I have been looking for um, something that was pretty close to the 63 in terms of um, focal length, but also something that would uh, give me a bit more of a uh, special vintage look. Uh, give me a very shallow depth of field. This is an amazing lens, it's super sharp, it's 2.8, but sometimes you want something uh, that is even, um, you know, uh, has a shallower depth of field. So, uh, after my friend Jonas Rask um, um, showed me some images um, with a uh, Minolta Rocker 58mm 1.7 lens or 1.4 lens, I decided to get my own on eBay. This lens did cost me around 100 euros. Now this lens you cannot mount on a GFX unless you have something like this. This is a uh, adapter. This one is from Kipon, which was also about 100 euros. So this end will fit the GF uh, mount on the GFX and this end will be the Minolta rocker mount. So uh, what you do is basically just get that Fuji lens off then you mount the adapter which is just a piece of metal basically 
and this one fits really well I haven't tried any of the other ones because there's many out there there's even uh, some adapters out there that can use uh, autofocus with some selected lenses now this is a manual focus lens so doesn't matter anyhow um, so you just attach it to the camera like this and then all of a sudden um, this Minolta 58mm 1.4 lens uh, works on the GFX. Now it is not perfect, uh, mind you that it is not nearly as sharp as the Fuji uh, glass. It, is, um, it has some vignetting in the corners which can be solved to a degree but you still will probably have to crop a little bit. Um, so to me this is not about image quality, this is about having a certain look to the images and um, from my testing I really love how the Minolta rocker lenses work. They are pretty cheap uh, online um, and they give this really nice look to it. So I had been playing with this one for a while and then it turned out that Willem had this old Minolta 200mm lens. Um, it's 3.5 uh, but that is very shallow depth of field with such a long lens on a medium format camera. So I couldn't wait to test this baby out on my GFX and we did that um, somewhere in a uh, where there was a little path where we walked and we started shooting some images. It's actually not that hard to manual focus with um, these old lenses but you have to keep in mind that if you're going to be shooting wide open at 1.4 with this lens or 3.5 with this lens your margin of error is extremely small so you will have to take a couple of images just to be sure that you have everything in focus now um, the way I do it is I um, have the camera on manual focus and I uh, have the um, what is it called the uh, the red stripes, um, the contrast detection thing on so you can see or have a better idea of what is in focus and if you push the back uh, dial here then you zoom in so that's usually what I did I zoomed in focused on the nearest eye zoomed back out made my composition and click so this is not like um, a very fast uh, thing to do definitely if you have never done it you grow into it uh, quite a lot uh, but it really works surprisingly well. I was a bit afraid to, to do this because I'm not a fan. I'm, I haven't been a fan of adapted lenses in the X-series uh, cameras because the Fuji uh, glass is extremely good and it is not that expensive. But when you look at GFX, you know, the 110 millimeter that I kind of lusting about is around 3000 euros so i'm not ready for that investment but in the meantime i can have a play with these lenses uh, they're like i said they're not nearly as good as the fuji non glass when it comes to image quality but they have this very special look that i really like so here is uh, willem um, setting up a shot um, and it's not like I'm stealing his shot and going to do the exact same shot but I'm moving on from there and then he takes over again and moves on so it's, it's a, a very good idea because you you have the time to think you have um, starting points by seeing what the other photographer does so we went along with that we then moved on to some uh, bikini shots it was warm anyway um, and I took some long shots with a 200 millimeter lens um, and I also took one I think with the uh, 63 millimeter the Fuji film one which is way sharper upon returning to the car we came onto this uh, little road dust a uh, dirt road uh, with nice backlight but also a lot of wind so the dust was kicking up everywhere and instead of trying to fight it we decided to add some more dust so here is Will uh, creating some dust for me and that sparked another idea to me I wanted to have this like very cool ninja kind of picture where um, Nella was crushing uh, the sand so here we are trying to figure out how close Will can be without being in the frame and there we go
And then I got a mouthful of dust, but I still think it was worth it for this picture. We then moved on to a field um, and the light was going down and it became a bit too flat and uninteresting. So what we did was I took out one speed light, Will is holding it and um, we, um, by just underexposing the ambient light, just a tiny touch, maybe half a stop or something like that, and adding a bit of flash, you can give that light the direction again that you may want. And again, I'm shooting with that 200 millimeter Minolta lens. I'd also been playing around with the new Fujifilm Instax camera, the XQ10, and so we decided to make some pictures of that. And then we came to this uh, area where you have this huge radar antenna and I like these um, cool buildings and backgrounds and so I decided to uh, use that as a landscape element when working with Nella. We basically did the same one speed light, underexposed the ambient a bit more and that works just fine. And to finish off we came to the other side of the antenna, we had backlight and um, we did a bit more aggressive underexposing of the background um, so we could get a clear view of that radar a bit more dramatic a bit wider this by the way was shot with the 63 um, so will is just outside of the image uh, with a light with an orange filter and then i adjusted the white balance a bit so it's like it was like a quarter or a half cto just to make that light a bit warmer um, and then make the background a bit cooler. So that's shifting that white balance a bit, uh, which always is a great idea. But so that's how we made this final image of the day. This was maybe a bit of a different kind of video because we had trouble with the audio and our minds were too occupied during shooting uh, to also do a decent video. So I had to come up with this idea of me talking while I'm looking at the behind the scenes videos. But I still hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm still very busy with my business redesign, which involves a lot of paperwork lately. Um, I have probably changed my computer into a Microsoft Surface Pro uh, 2017, which is also something that I would like to talk about in the future. I'm gonna be testing some new lighting gear very soon. Um, so there's a lot going on. Uh, a lot that I'm doing, very exciting stuff to me um, and I will be back as soon as I have time for a new video. Thanks for watching and I see you in the next video.